all right hello welcome all welcome in another important video i hope you all are doing great so in previous video we saw how to create solidity smart contract using truffle and how to compile our created smart contracts how to create migration file and how this build file works we saw basic truffle configurations right we also saw how to communicate with our created smart contracts using command line and we successfully able to deploy our created contract on local ethereum blockchain using ganesh all right so now it's time to introduce user interface in our project so that end user can start interacting with our solidity smart contracts for that purpose we will have to take help of react js although it is not mandatory to use react js well there are multiple ways through which we can create our react js application so if you have enough understanding about react js you can start everything from scratch and install each library that you will require in your project manually or else if you don't if you want to avoid that overhead you can simply clone any boilerplate so as you can see in front of us we have one simple boilerplate for react js i'm going to go ahead and copy this link and let's open this and let's open terminal in our current working directory and i will simply go ahead and clone this created project all right so we know that there is a git command git clone this will help us cloning this git repository or else you can simply go ahead and download this zip right so our react js project is cloned let me go back here you can see there is a simple react boilerplate okay so we need to change our directory and i would recommend you to use yarn instead of npm especially if you are working with react js because i found a lot of stability with yarn which i don't found with npm in react js right so i'm going to go ahead and use yarn install command and if you are working on mac or linux operating system provide this flags right and just hit enter button now this will start installing all the dependencies meanwhile we will go back and learn about web3 so you just have to search web3js so now this library will help us interacting with our created smart contract from our web browser so as you can see here they have provided web3 is a collection of libraries that allows you to interact with local or remote ethereum node using http and ipc sockets okay what does this mean is in a same way how we interact with our backend in any simple web application we can we can do the same thing in blockchain as well with the help of web3 js well web3 js itself require a dedicated course but for our understanding and our use case we will simply use web3 js to bridge a gap between our user interface and our backend ethereum smart contracts all right so installation is done and second thing that we need to install is web3 library because this library will help us interacting with our smart contracts all right okay so i have already done with the installation just to save our time now all i need to do is i need to start my react js project and this is react start command and our code has started all right so our server has started so now let's try to make some changes uh, in the existing code so the first of all we will go in app.js file because it seems app.js is the main component okay and i don't want any route at the moment so let me quickly remove this default code i will simply put one heading tag let's say h1 and let's give it a name jhm d app and let's save this and see if it works so as you can see we got this message changed all right so the next thing that we need to do is uh, we need to create one component which will be a class component because we are mainly going to deal with some life cycle methods so if you know a little bit about react js you have two choices for the components either you can create functional component or you can create class components so among them i think class component is the best choice for our use case okay so i'm going to change this functional component into class component so let's create class and let's keep this as an app itself and i'm going to extend this 
with react component class right so all the features of react component class will be inherited inside of this app class right if you want to learn more about react js and its functionalities we have dedicated course for the react js but for now we are just going to cover basic things which will help us interacting with our smart contracts right so in class component we have renderer method so if i refresh this it's still working so that means everything is working fine <coughs> so let me remove this rest of the code and and this is the minimalistic code that we can write in any react js component right in order to interact with smart contracts we, we are going to take help of web3 library so we have to import that first so i'm going to use web3 from web3 that's it and and to write web3 functionality we are going to subscribe one lifecycle event of class component which is component did mount right so this lifecycle method gets call as soon as all the rendering uh, as soon as our component is ready so this is the right choice for web3 and i'm going to create one const variable let's say web3 and we are going to create a new object of web3 class but while creating a new object of web3 class we'll have to provide an address where our solidity smart contract is deployed so our smart contract is our smart contracts will get deployed on the environment provided by ganesh and if if you want that address you just have to copy this rpc server address so let me copy this and while creating new object let's create a new web3 dot providers dot http provider right and in here you will have to provide this address right so just keep it in small case that's it and i think that's pretty much all to be required to connect with the solidity smart contracts okay so let me console this log web3 and if i go back here so as you can see inside of this console message we got some web3 object okay well just to confirm that everything is configured correctly uh, we will fetch accounts uh, inside of the ganesh so as you can see we have this 10 accounts so i will try to get addresses of each of these accounts so if i go back inside of the documentation of the ethereum web 3js and here you will be able to see some methods right so we have web3.ethereum and we we can see this accounts so so we have so we have one method with the name get accounts and this method basically gives us information of all the accounts that are available at that particular address right so let me go back here and copy it so we already have this web3 object created so i'll simply use get accounts so if everything is okay we will get the list of all addresses so let me see okay so now this is asynchronous so if we want its address we have to use a wait so i need to make this component did mount class as in a sync and i will put await in front of the get account function now if i see so as you can see we got all 10 account addresses and you can you can even compare it with the accounts that we have here so our first account is ends with d0 d0 de and as you can see here this first account is also d0de so that means we successfully able to inter we successfully able to connect with our ganesh it's just that as of now we don't have any contract deployed on this particular address so we cannot access that contracts method all right so let's go back inside of our hello world contract so we have this get message method so if we want to interact with this smart contract from our front end so we will have to deploy uh, or migrate 
this particular contract on our Ganesh blockchain, right? So we already saw how to do it. Let me do it. I have to use one command, truffle migrate. So now this will automatically compile our contracts and deploy it on the local blockchain. So let's wait for a while. So as you can see here, our contract start compiling and it is compiled now and it has started migrating. So if I go back, in Ganesh, so you will be able to see some transactions, you will, be, you will be able to see some new blocks getting added here. All right. So that means our that so that means our contract is deployed on this blockchain. Now, the next thing that we want to do is we want to interact with our smart contracts using the front end that we have created in ReactJS, right? So in order to interact with the contracts, we just have to search contract on the documentation. We just have to go inside this contract tab and let's see this documentation. All right. So here they have given one example how to interact with smart contract. So we'll, so we will require two things. First of all, we will require EBI, which is abstract binary interface that we get by the time of compilation of the contract. So we can simply copy this EBI or we can simply copy this EBI and paste it somewhere, which is ac somewhere accessible in our front end, right? And second thing that we will require is this address and this address is nothing but the address where we have deployed our smart contract. So we will get to see that address in the networks. So we'll get to see that address in the same JSON file in the networks, right? So we'll have, we will need this address as well. So let's copy this syntax first. And if I go here and create a new object, okay, so we'll have to provide this abstract binary interface. So just for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to go and copy this hello world I'm gonna go and copy this contract file but certainly this is not a recommended way to do it you have to keep your abstract binary interface in a such a way that it is not accessible for any other users so uh, certainly we'll have to think other way uh, whenever we will deploy our application but for now let's just create new folder uh, and keep all the static files there so I'm gonna create a new folder with the name static and let's paste this file in here right so I'm gonna go in so let's import that hello world JSON file inside inside app JSON file app JS right so it's inside Hello world. All right. So, so the first, so the first parameter, as we discussed, it will be the abstract binary interface. So we have to just provide hello world dot ABI. And if we want to access this address, which is inside of the networks and which is inside of the networks and inside that 577 and then the bit inside of the networks object then we have 5777 and then we have this address so let's go back here and hello world dot networks dot 577 dot we have address right okay and we don't need to do anything in the third parameter 
we'll do it later on but i think that's pretty much all to be required to do uh, let's put a wait here and let's me console this log my contract dot method so reason why am i doing it because with this way only we'll be able to, with this way we'll be able to see all the methods that we have inside of the smart contracts so if this works we can conclude that our connection with the smart contract is successful okay so now let's go back inside the console and see all right so compilation is done successfully let's go inside the console and see if that methods are available so as you can see inside of this object we got two methods uh, and one of this is the method that we have written inside of our smart contract so in order to call this method let's go and use get message so we'll be able to see that message inside of our console if we want to call any method we have to add call after each method so this is web3 syntax and we saw this is a promise so this is promise so we have to put a wait here okay so as you can see all right so as you can see we got our message from our smart contract right so we just saw how to interact with smart contract using react js and web3 and how to configure connections and then how to call methods from any smart contract from next video we will start with our actual smart contract which is which is online auction we will create user interface for that we will try to use some wallets through which we will try to interact with smart contracts right so i think that's it for this video thank you very much for watching see you in the next video bye